Sup folks, today we're going to be talking about the key personalities of the French Revolution versus the American Revolution. The 17th and 18th century saw an intellectual and cultural shift known as the Enlightenment. There saw a rise in reason and human freedom amongst the society. France, however, remained divided into three social classes called estates. In 1774, Louis XVI along with his wife Marie Antoinette ascended the throne as king and queen who gained reputation for excessive spending on fashion, gambling, and other indulgences. The estates general saw a number of figures from the first and second estates who favored the third estate, such as Emmanuel Joseph Sees, a Catholic clergyman who wrote a highly influential pamphlet called What is the Third Estate? and Comte de Mirabeau, a nobleman who advocated for the reform and reorganization of the government. On the 14th of July 1789, Parisian revolutionary mobs attacked Fort Bastille where they killed and paraded the severed heads of Governor Delaunay and Jacques de Flusse. Marquis de Lafayette was a royal guard who backed the French Revolution and drafted the Declaration of the Rights of Man and Citizen. He was later arrested for his moderate stance on Jacobin radicalism. Jacobin radicalism was led by Maximilian Robespierre. He campaigned from the Estates General onwards for universal male suffrage, the abolition of slavery, and the rights of sans culottes. George Stanton was the first president of the Committee of Public Safety, but after the expulsion of the Girondins, he began to campaign against the use of force, so he was executed later on on April 5, 1794. Girondins were led by Jacques Pierre Bissot, who was the most prominent leader, the most conservative faction of the National Convention. This group was made up of businessmen, merchants, and financiers, and supported the idea of constitutional monarchy. Olympe de Gouge wrote to the National Assembly offering to defend Louis XVI in his trial causing outrage. Her 1793 pamphlet, Le Troy Earn, argued for a constitutional monarchy which was a capital offense. Both Brissot and Gouge were executed later on. The American Revolution was a fight for colonial independence. Americans were angered due to Britain's policies and tensions began to escalate. Some key figures of the American Revolution included Benjamin Franklin, who wrote the Declaration of Independence, Alexander Hamilton, who joined the Continental Army, where he became an aide to George Washington. He also saw action in the field fighting at the 1781 Battle of Yorktown. Thomas Jefferson was also a key figure who held various political offices, most notably serving as America's president from 1801 to 1809 after stints as vice president and secretary of states. One of America's founding fathers, Samuel Adams, in 1765, helped fuel protests in Boston over the hated Stamp Act. John Adams, who served as George Washington's vice president for two terms, griping, My country has in its wisdom contrived for me the most significant office that ever the invention of man contrived. General George Washington, on the other hand, led the American army to victory during the Revolutionary War. He was later hailed as the first president of the United States. Looking at the other side, George III was the tyrant that the colonists wanted to break free from. During his final decade of his life, George was too mentally unwell to serve, and his son, the future George IV, ruled in his place as Prince Regent. So I hope you folks learned a lot today and understood the significance of these figures. They were the ones who had the courage to fight and stand up for the people. As part of the youth, our simple role is to never forget so these dark chapters may never again occur. Thank you and Pax et Bonum.